Hello, I'm Ibex Toyka, and this is a tutorial for the Iron Golem, how to craft it and what it does. So yeah, let's get right into it. So the Iron Golem is crafted from two simple materials. Uh, firstly, the uh, the Iron Ingot, and secondly, the Pumpkin. It's 36 Iron Ingots to one Pumpkin, so it's a big investment because 36 Iron is a very hard to come by. And in the early game, you're obviously going to be using your Iron for other things, so it's something you can be using late game. Uh, but in exchange, you get one of the more powerful mobs in the game, definitely the best player created mob, or tamed mob. Uh, and probably, I think it's the mob with the most health besides the Ender Dragon and the Wither. So very, very strong things. Let's show you how you craft it. As uh, first of all, with your 36 Iron Ingots in your inventory, you have to head over to the far right section, and there is the uh, compounding block section where you'll find the blocks of iron, the gold, etc. Uh, here you may want to make uh, four of these, or if you have more iron, you can make as many as you need. I have a 64 stack just to uh, show a point. Uh, but yeah, you need at least four of these. Um, and then with these four, you then need to uh, get them in a T shape, sort of like this. Uh, I'll show you on the ground right now. Uh, so, one, two, uh, three, four. It's quite easy to do. It can be done in either direction, but it's just a simple Tetris T-shaped thing. Uh, and then you need to put a pumpkin on top of it. Uh, you can put a jack o' lantern on top instead, but it will work with a pumpkin as well. So it's worth just using a pumpkin, saving yourself the torch. Uh, but yeah, so then you'll have an iron golem. These are ridiculously powerful mobs of uh, extreme health. Like I can show you in a minute how much health they have. Uh, and what they'll do is any hostile mob comes anywhere near them, they'll just completely destroy it. So let's show you with like 10 zombies coming towards me. Um, he just goes in there and he completely just throws, throws them away, one hit kills them, it's it's pretty ridiculous. Uh, and here are some skeletons to show the same thing, uh, just uh, pretty powerful, two hit kills a skeleton. Uh, very very powerful mob, very very useful for defending your house with, you can put them at your door to stop hostile mobs getting in. Uh, the only mob they will not attack is the creeper because it will explode and hurt them obviously, so yeah, you might want to get a cat as well. Um, yeah, between the creep, uh, between the ocelot and the uh, iron golem, uh, you're pretty much protected from everything. Uh, they can't really help you that much against the ender dragon, but everything else they are very, very good against. Uh, so yeah, very, very powerful mob that you're definitely going to want to uh, have this outside your house or somewhere like that uh, to protect you. And also, if you do want to make a lot of them in a row, uh, just a little pro tip, if you have the T-shapes facing north, because if you face them the other way it won't work properly, uh, you can just stack them in a row like this, so you can have three or four or how many iron blocks you have in a T-shape. Uh, so for instance, if you playing multiplayer you know pvp and you want to just uh, get it all suddenly done at once uh place some t-shapes face in the north and then go one two three and you can just uh, have three iron golems right in a row i missed it messed it up a bit there but as you can see very fast regardless uh so yeah that's that's how you go ahead and you do this thing magic and yeah Iron Golems, they are good and stuff. Go make them and stuff and defend yourself. Uh, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Check out the other two videos on screen right now and goodbye.